Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Gracious and Attractive Conversation, and our scripture is Paul's letter to the Colossian Church, chapter 4. Live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. Paul's advice to a group of believers living in a largely pagan and idol-worshipping culture was to be wise in their conversation, literally everything they do. His emphasis on being gracious and attractive with words is especially telling. There's an art to remaining on the higher plane when opponents continually hit below the belt. It's an art I freely admit not having mastered. When I think of 21st century culture, I'm convinced it's a practice that needs to make a comeback. Pick a segment of the current culture and describe it in terms of commitment to truth, kindness, honesty, or love. Then think about if you'd recommend any of this culture's ways to be continued in heaven. Think about politics, media, law, entertainment, professional sports, or the corporate world. Do you see much graciousness? love, or even the most rudimentary aspects of truth, kindness, or honesty? Or is it primarily self-serving, rude, and incredibly false? (laughs) I told you I hadn't mastered gracious and attractive just yet, but at least it must ring true. So, if our culture aligns rather consistently with Colossian culture, where just getting through the day was a tough assignment, What was Paul aiming at? What good could attractive, kind words make in that kind of environment? Well, I'm glad you asked. Even amongst the least religious, least interested in faith or God, there is an image of God stamped on the soul. Granted, that image may be long faded or muddled by worldly, godless living or just plain neglect of spiritual life, but it is there. And graciousness, kindness, and honesty with words that match will remind lost sheep that they have a home waiting for them when they're done with the pig pen. That, frankly, is the job description for found sheep, telling the lost ones about the way back to the shepherd. And when they won't listen to preachers or other religious professionals because they've learned in this tough world to never trust anyone, It is the kind words, surprising honesty, and gracious ways of helpful sheep that will connect with that image of God on even the most hardened wanderer. For you today, it's easy to fall into the ways of the world because you'll find approval there from those who need a little propping up in their own walk away from God. But if you ever hope to rescue a lost sheep God is trying to reach, you'll have to swim against the tide of rude, self-serving lies. Gracious and attractive conversation, well, it's more than just words. In the original language, the word we have translated, conversation, means everything about the way you conduct your daily living. So, Paul is really saying, go all in for honesty, truthfulness, and being kind. Those are the tools of the trade for any who wish to do God's calling. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.